Today we have power clamp aka grapple made by Gator and this clamp doesn't rotate under the load, doesn't have enough power. Guys, if you first time to the channel, please subscribe. Very appreciated that. Let's get started. And first, as usual, let's confirm the issue. As you can see, I'm pressing the control button and you can hear the pump respond. It's trying, trying to rotate, but we don't have power and log is barely turning. And uh, I will show you what I found with this Gator Grapple, it's a common problem and uh, it will be interesting. Guys, if you like it, thumbs up. All right, let's start taking it apart. Let's take the covering plate on side of the power clamp. Actually, we're going to take the cover on both sides to the access inside. And this is one of the rotator motors. Let's take the cover from another side, mark the hydraulic lines, at least one of them, make sure we'll put them in a proper position. Let's disconnect the hydraulic lines and before we disconnect and relieve the pressure in your hydraulic system. Okay, now we need a 3 8 socket, but socket doesn't really work. I use the Allen key. See, I cut it short and those Allen head bolts are hard to get out. There's a two. Remove those ones to get that motor pulled out. Okay, both Allen key bolts are removed and now we are ready to pull our motor out. One was another side and this motor has a different bolts and that one is not our problem and uh, that motor on the left side failed okay let's get to that motor pull it out and uh, as you can see everything is disconnected and that motor is coming out every hydraulic motor has a two same diameter hoses coming to the unit and as you can see there is a key slot and that key is sheared as you can see only half of key left that is slot that key should keep that shaft connected to the pinion gear and uh, yep that's why we didn't have enough rotating power because only one hydraulic motor was rotating the grapple okay let's remove that key safety first always safety goggles and let's just drill the end of that key that way we can just pick it up and chisel it out and get that key out of that slot pretty easy there's nothing difficult as soon as you have a little bit of notch to pry it out key will come out as you can see there's a half only left and um, yeah why that happened because that clamp is light duty as soon as you start maneuvering and moving big logs it actually it's not designed for it and that is the weakest link in the chain okay i have a rectangular key kit let's find the right size okay there's a one and uh, we're going to replace the key and that will take care of our problem let's see if it fits yes it fits guys if you have any questions comments critics suggestions put them down in the comment section below we'll try my best to answer okay we have a key same size same key and just a new one i'm putting a little bit of anti-seized compound to keep a key in a slot when we will be installing the hydraulic motor make sure key won't fall out okay we're almost ready and as you can see key is staying in place that way it won't fall out 
okay let's get to our clamp back let's do the little bit clean up brake clean before we'll start putting the motor back just clean all that grease and hydraulic oil what's uh, there and keys in place let's remove the, another part of the key which is inside the pinion gear and it's still there let's just pry it out and that will fall all the way down and out okay now our slot is clean and our motor can go back let's align that key with the slot and that small pinion gear turns big ring gear that way everything works on this clamp okay as you can see it's in place everything's aligned two bolts we're going to put same way we remove them pretty easy assembly is always opposite in reverse to removal okay let's put those bolts back tie them up it's a little bit hard to get there with a socket almost impossible and just using the allen key and this video won't be that very <laughs> helpful and popular to most of the viewers but if it will help one or two or three people that will be fantastic okay as you can see it's why i cut my 3 8 allen key shirt make sure i can get there and tie it up that way we got that clamp from the we'll put those bolts because regular style bolts won't work okay let's tie the another one and just use an extension and uh, yep make sure everything's tight and uh, good to go by the way i use the loctite thread locker make sure those bolts won't get loose okay now i'm tightening them let's connect our hydraulic lines make sure everything's clean and uh, yeah always start those fittings by hand few turns and then tie it with a wrench make sure they won't get cross threaded and uh yeah bolts are tight both hydraulic hoses are connected and uh, let's check it out what we have for a double machine and see if it works and i will, will tell you it works because it's not the first time happening and now you can hear the pump respond rotating and you could feel that firm motion and it's turning how it's supposed to turn and we got it fixed yeah just don't go too heavy with this slide duty power clamp there won't be any problems okay now you know how to fix it and last time just go and check for any hydraulic leaks make sure everything is good and uh, yeah let's put those covers back and back to business guys if it's helpful thumbs up subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions yeah drop them down in the comment section below under the video i have more interesting videos in a heavy equipment bay playlist check it out yeah well i have more work to do and uh, yeah stay safe and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.